Good morning. It is uh, January 26th. It's a Saturday. Um, it's currently 7.53 in the morning. Uh, I'm in New York. I drove here last night uh, to get into Long Island because I'm going to be heading to the B-Sides Long Island Conference tomorrow, which is today, now, uh, and playing their Capture the Flag. So it was like a four-hour drive last night, um, but <laughs> finally here, stayed at the East Norwich Inn, or the East Norwich Hotel, which is this place. So, uh, registration is at 8.30, so it's breakfast, so I'm going to get on the road, and I'll see you there. Bye bye All right, I'm here, but I'm early. <laughs> it's 8.20, so I have 10 more minutes to go inside. And that's like even registration, like that's breakfast, like nothing's going to be happening. But having a place to put my laptop down and just use the internet would be good because I can't do it very well from my car. Uh, I need to do, though, because I need to get my tickets. There's a QR code. Someone's coming. Someone's coming to park. It's anxiety. All right, <laughs> see you inside. Hey, what's up? It's me, John, from the future. Uh, that right there is January John, and this is February John, so I guess the, the now John, I don't know, but uh, um, <clears throat> hello. This is what I want to try and do. While I was at B-Sides Long Island and playing this competition, I had the idea like, well, let's not only screen record like the footage of me of me playing the competition, let's also get my webcam on so you can see me up there uh, picking my nose and scratching my head and all the doing all the stupid real-life stuff as this is going on. And I figured, all right, now... I'll do a little bit of commentary and talk about what you're seeing on the screen. So, this game is the B-Sides Long Island CTF that was put on by Cursive Security. Um, it's meant to be a kind of King of the Hill-like game, where if you've got control of one machine, or if you've got uh, some flag that you can protect, uh, make it yours, protect it, try and lock it down, etc. And it still had CTF-like aspects to it, but there was one machine... A 192.168.1.10 right up there, and that was supposed to be the entrance to all the other machines because the other machines were natted. They had some peculiar ports going on and lots of interesting things. So that's what I wanted to try for. Um, it had a I think little WordPress site that's up there, a Drupal site. There was a PFSense machine going on. Um, there was supposed to be some RDP thing. That's the zero cool one. Um, and I struggled with this for, like, the longest time because I couldn't find the RDP service running on the machine, like, from my Nmap scans. And apparently it was just straight up there, though. Like, I went up to the organizers and asked them at one point, like, hey, is is RDP even on? <clears throat> like, is this, is this doing the thing that it's supposed to do? And I tried to use Hydra to go ahead and look through different, like, will it brute force RDP? Do I have to specify domain? What do I need to do, etc.? And honestly, I'm just trying to hop on... Hopping around and trying to determine what can I look at, what can I find, do I have any footholds at all? Um, so I'm trying to create some word lists, try to determine stuff based off of the zero cool stuff. So you might have seen in the kind of game stuff that they gave me. Oh, I found one flag there that was just some SSH connection. I think that's on the Gibson. Yeah, and I go back and found it and tried to submit it at some point. I found it eventually and there it is. Okay, some green that you might be able to see. Uh, got a couple points on the scoreboard. Because originally, for like the longest time, for just an hour, I was like, I don't have anything. I have nothing. What's going <laughs> to... How am I going to do? So RDP wasn't there. Zero cool is a reference. And in the tools and references and the files they gave you, they give you the script of the entire 1995 Hackers movie. So all of these challenges and uh, the character names and all the different things are, are, are referred to characters. Sorry. They, all of the challenges have the names of the characters that are from the movie Hackers. So they give us the entire script, and I try and do a bunch of different MMAP scans, just to see, am I not, am I missing this RDP port, etc. You also see me just playing on my phone up there, trying to text some people. I'm trying to be better about not doxing myself in, in my, in my screen cap footage, so 
I'll use Slack or talk to some people from my phone. Um, so I went for like the longest time to try and figure out this first challenge, like what is the password for the Dave Murphy accounts in RDP, and I got nowhere. I tried stuff that's in the hacker script. I tried like um, I think it's secret, love, and sex. It says they're the most commonly used passwords. Tried all those, didn't get anywhere. Tried to use zero cool. Tried to use other hacker names. Got nothing. Tried regular password, etc., etc. Oh, God was another one they mentioned. Leonardo da Vinci. Just tried to find other things. Because one person, one person that, that was playing, solved it. And he said, like, yo, did you get this yet? And I was like, no, I don't know what the hell I'm doing because I can't find this RDP service. And he's like, yeah, I couldn't find it either, but I kind of cheated. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, he didn't cheat, but he kind of thought about this in, like, a smart way. Like, it's going to be one, one of those default passwords. So... I don't know why I didn't try this by hand. I actually literally tried something. Uh, I don't know if it's, it showcases in the footage later, but I literally wrote something to try and brute force submitting a flag. <laughs> um, but we're just running through this. And at this point in the game, there becomes a serious problem because what they have done as the game creators is they have ran the scoreboard or like the, the flag submission framework on... 1.10, and again, all the other challenges are in there. So we are attacking the same machine that is hosting the scoreboard. So <laughs> what do you know? It goes down, and we aren't able to access it for a long time, and there was a good while where you saw that unable to connect and the service is down. So I try to just write my ideas as like, what are the challenges that I could work on, or even realistically solve, but I just do nothing for however long this takes. And eventually the game comes back on, but the game isn't started yet. I figure they have to turn it back on. So I get in, and then I keep trying other passwords that where I think I got it, and obviously I still don't. So I'm trying other stuff, moving around, going back to this flag format thing, and I keep hitting it so many times, just trying to scrape at straws and figure out what this might be. Um, anyway, I don't know if I mentioned Root the Box is the uh, platform and framework the game is on. Uh, very, very cool. I've, I've tried to do this recording a couple times, so maybe I did mention it, maybe I didn't, but the game is hosted on a Root the Box, which is very cool. I think it's Moloch that wrote it, or M0LOCH, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's the zero or the O is in the right place, but... Also, didn't know what to do with any of the other challenges, and they're kind of strange. Felt kind of bottlenecked in some of these, because you have to unlock other challenges, and either if you couldn't find out one, or you couldn't determine the other, um, you were stuck. Like, you weren't able to move on. Um, so, anyway, you had the issues with the connectivity, guessing some of these, these flags here, or challenges. Uh, I did not entirely like this game, but... Who am I to judge, right? I'm just a just a fellow player, just a dude. You can see I'm trying to connect the RDP service. Try and try and try and, um, and it doesn't work to no avail. At this point, yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Is I actually wrote that curl script or a little bash script and with curl to go ahead and literally brute force <laughs> submissions, um, and I didn't get anywhere. I think I was doing it wrong, though. I think there's a cross-site request forgery token that I didn't take, um, and it, it might not have actually got it, because I think from just looking at it now, the password is in there. In Is in that word list that I was trying to use. I think RockU. Um, I honestly just should have went through RockU kind of by hand and submitted at least the first couple hundred, or not a not hundred, but even like the first 20, and it would have been fine. Hydra is still trying to get log in with RDP. No luck on that. I'm trying to rock through some SSH connections to see if there's anything more I can find. Like, that SSH connection that I found earlier that would let me connect, is there a default password or something easy that I could crack and or guess at least with that? Um, and for the longest time, it, it, it acts like it's down. So, just fighting. Looks like I'm getting closer. There it is. There it is. There it is. I found it. Yeah. So the password was 12345. And... I was so angry. I rage quit. Because for the longest time I was like, oh, it's got to be a hint in the hacker source, like the hackers, uh, the movie the movie script, some of the characters, some of the passages they're referring to. Uh, even the person that I was sitting with thought that his team got it. Um, turned out they didn't. <laughs> but he thought they did because it had said one submission. Uh, but it was really just the other team that had submitted it. So Butter Overflow is my team, by the way. I guess I was in third at that point. Um, trying to figure out what more can I get, how can I kind of jump into this, uh, because I would like to be able to lead the lead the pack here. 
running through it, looking at the PF sense. I wanted to go ahead and tackle Drupal, um, but when I started to look at it, suddenly I got the install page, and I figured someone has already exploited this or got onto it, um, because suddenly I am left to install Drupal, where it had a regular login before. So something was clearly wrong, or they had already owned it and were just locking it out so that no one else could get into it. Which was sinister, but also very, very a good play, right? Like, that's that's honestly what I did later on. And actually, you can see I skipped some footage here. Um, I don't know if you saw the, the Hydra output, but I got Razor and the password, Password1. So I got into this mush this box, this machine, uh, found some flags, and got used that as a pivot point. Because that um, was able to actually access all the other machines. And I found a lot of flags through that. So I was able to submit those. And then Rapid Fire submitted them <clears throat> and locked them in. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Um, Metasploit and Empire were actually on this box. So you could, if you wanted to, and if you knew enough between Metasploit and stuff, try to throw it at other machines. Um, I tried to throw Eternal Blue at all the other boxes, but didn't get anywhere. Um, honestly, this is the point where I was upset with myself, because I was like, man, I don't know anything about Metasploit. <laughs> like, I don't know... Other than Eternal Blue, like other cheesy exploits to throw, or just something without without getting any tip off from anything, like an Nmap scan or Open Voss or Nessus, like I wouldn't know what to do. So you can see me trying to enter some usernames again, try to see if I can SSH into some others uh, with with that material. Um, I'm trying to use the SSH enumerators to find that in Metasploit because I've got Metasploit now in their local network, which is cool, which is very cool. And you see my Nmap scan to see what's inside the local network. So at this point, you might see the scoreboard flying around. I had climbed to first place, and that was solely because of these machines that I got into. And then I <laughs> wondered, what can I do with this flag that I've got? Because the flag that I had was worth 200 points. And it was worth more than any of the others that were on the game. I don't know why I have... <laughs> you see me eating lunch there. Um, I changed the flag, actually. And I asked the organizers, I asked the, the competition organizers, like, is this in scope? Is this cool? Because they gave us, like, a debrief at the beginning that, like, you can do anything. There aren't a lot of rules. You can do whatever you want. Um, because someone told me, as I got on that box, one of the competition organizers came up and says, like, hey, what's your team name? And I'm like, I'm Buffer Overflow, or Butter Overflow. And he's like, ah, are you on the UKF factory, or whatever the thing was called? And uh, OTV Network, that's what it was. And I said, yeah, that's me. And he said, uh, you're on that box, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm on that box. And he's like, yeah, you are on that box. And I kind of, like... He clued me in as to what he was saying, like, dude, lock it down, try and protect your stuff. Uh, you can make yourself the king of the hill here. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah. So I kind of changed the flag permissions, and after after I'd asked him, like, is it is it in scope? Is it kosher for me to change this flag? And he's like, don't change it, but do what you need to do to hide it. Or don't, don't move it, um, but change the permissions, trying to, you know, nerf it. I actually removed the ls command at one point. <laughs> and that was, I thought, a good move because I was like, I don't want anyone. Yeah, you, you can see it. I RM bin LS and literally just killed it. So uh, just to annoy people if anyone got on that machine. And then again, I'm trying other options and other things. Drupal was straight up dead. It sounds like after the conversation, after the competition and the conversation I had with the organizers, if you just threw the tool Drupal get in at it, or some, I've honestly never heard of it, but the utility Drupal get in would just hammer that thing. Um, this is a funny thing, because you can see in one of my terminals, I'm actually trying to set up a reverse shell, and someone else is just throwing data at it. That 192.168.1.209 address is another player. And I was like, someone's here. <laughs> someone's, trying to, someone's trying to knock on these doors. Um, and I'm getting to a point later on and later on in the game, uh, we're getting closer to the end there, where I realize the password for the Razor account has been changed. And I didn't add another user or anything to it. So I am stuck. And Razor is my pivot point into the OTV network. So I realized that I only had one shell inside uh, the OTV network, inside the pivot point. I'm sorry, whoever that dude was that was apparently looking. I may have doxed you on the internet. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> the people that are in the background video, I hope... <laughs> Unspoken permission, I hope. <laughs> um, so, 
I was running out of ground. Like, I was losing ground. I'm losing my edge, and I thought, like, someone's going to get this flex flag. Someone's going to overtake me because I'm only 100 or 100, 200 points away from someone, like, taking my throne as, as, as first place. And I did not want that. Uh, so you can see me get, like, visibly anxious. Like, I have, like, evident anxiety. Um, and I'm flipping between tabs, I'm twiddling my thumbs, trying to figure out how I can get a stable shell, where I'm trying to do reverse callbacks so I get another shell. But that is the only one. Like, that that uh, Terminator window was the only panel that I had that still had a shell. Everything else had died, and I couldn't get a stable connection back. So, I was like, man, I'm running out, I'm losing the edge, I don't know if I'll be able to win this. Um, and 227, I don't know if the game ended at 330? You can see me texting my girlfriend, you can see me just like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm twiddling my thumbs, I'm like, what do I do? Uh, I got nothing to go off of right now, um, but uh, at the end of it, I did win. And that was the 2.30 mark. Yeah, that was the end of the competition, it was 2.30. So, that was that. Cool game. Rough. I missed a lot of, I missed a lot of things. I didn't know as much as I should have. Um, struggled with it because of the infrastructure, but... Got first place. Got a lot of really cool tool toys with it. Um, I got the land turtle. I got the bash bunny. USB rubber ducky. A fifty dollar ebook gift voucher to No Starch Press, which is very cool. And a sparrows lock picking kit. Kit. So uh, a lot of a uh, lot of pillage the village in that one. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> Very, very pleased. So it was a great game. It was fun. Uh, some quibbles throughout the way, but um, locked it down. And I wanted to showcase it for you. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks, all.